Hello everyone, welcome back to Carl Fix, and today I've got a fix for the Xbox consoles. I do sh apologise for the quality of the picture as I'm doing the streaming from the old Xbox app as I have no way to record the actual input capture straight from my Xbox to my PC. But anyway, here we go. So, the problem is, is if you get, um, cannot connect to the internet because of my DCHP error on your Xbox this is a few ways to fix it and I've seen that most of them out there I tried and it would not actually work so if you click your home button and you go to your settings um, and you go to network settings what will happen when you get this error is when you try and set up your network when it's connecting to your wireless network it will say cannot connect to your DCHP. The reason this normally happens is that you've probably had a static IP set up at some point on your Xbox or port forwarding or whatever. So a lot of the um, guides online say to go down to advanced settings, click all of your IP settings to automatic, DNS to automatic, port selection to automatic, then click alternative MAC address and press clear. This will then restart your Xbox and if you restart your router, people say that this works, but this would not work for me. So this is actually my son's Xbox One X that I used to use on a wired network. We've moved house and we also got a new router and he's now using it on a wireless as I've got a Series X. So what we had to do was, I brought the Xbox downstairs, I plugged it in again by the ethernet cable. This allowed the Xbox to connect to the network via the ethernet cable. So once it was connected to there, which is where it was set up on, using the wired MAC address you could then um, once it was on the, when so when you've got it plugged in with the Ethernet cable you then go back to advanced and you again change them all back to automatic because what would happened is is the IP address settings were still set to what I had set up as a static IP with the Ethernet cable so once you've got it plugged back in with the Ethernet cable, just again, go down to Advanced, go to Automatic on IP, Automatic on DNS, and Automatic on the port selection. I would then advise restarting your Xbox. You can unplug the cable. Then when you come back into your settings, go back to Network Settings, and you can go and set up a wireless network and voila, you will then have the option to be able to set up the wireless network without the DHCP error coming up. That's just a quick video and tip I've got for you today on another way of doing this if the um, alternate MAC address clear doesn't work and your Xbox used to be plugged in by Ethernet and you're now going to Wi-Fi. So if you like the video, hit the like, favorite, subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in another one soon. Thanks.